I basically fell here in my house uh, just after I had moved in, which was in 2016. Um, when I fell, I fell a couple of times, but the last one, uh, they told me that I had broke my neck. I was in surgery and they repaired. I have uh, two, I have a stent that is connected um, with 15 screws and it has put me in a wheelchair. Um, I basically, uh, I can do some things. I can walk a little bit, but not for any great lengths. And uh, Patrick came to my home to do a review on my insurance policies. And that's how I met him. And in our talking, I had mentioned what had transpired. Um, he had happened to have some of his patches with him, thank God. And I tried them. And believe it or not, I mean, I am on medication. I had a heart attack and a stroke. And I'm on medication, blood thinners. And uh, for the stroke, I basically have been left with fingers crooked and bent and can't straighten back out. Um, I have a pinky that's completely turned. Uh, they want to do surgery, but due to COVID, I can't get in. So that's basically the lineup for me right now. Now, when I tried the patches, I was amazed. Uh, the next day, I was ready for it to be put back on again, the second patch. And it was almost like, I mean, I had pain, but it wasn't like the pain I had had the day before. So we went through the period of the seven days and I have to get a clearance uh, to talk to my doctor. I want to bring Patrick to his office, but actually it'll be at my home because we do meetings on Zoom for them, for doctor appointments. So basically that is for me, what has transpired up to date. Um, I am in the process of going to move from my house. Uh, it's a little bit too much for me to handle. Uh, I have helpers that come in and help me every day. Uh, ben, they Betty, are here ben, eight hours per day. Betty, I wanted to ask you, let's, let's just dive into the patch real quick. When you, when you patch, you, you forgot to patch on the second day. I remember you telling me that. No, and then we did. Something about, something about your pain was excruciating because you forgot. Oh, yeah. yeah. If that is. Okay. What, what happened was we forgot to put the patch on at the beginning. So we did it later, a little bit later, but the pain I had finally just about put me to bed on that second day. And from then on, I made sure we didn't forget. I took it every single day and the pain, I just don't take the pain pills as often as I'm supposed to. I was down to two pills a day with the patches on, but the minute it stopped when I didn't have it, then I had to go back to taking the pain pills again. And I'm just about at the process where uh, I'm gonna have to um, get additional cash. That's why I sold my house so that I can do some of these things that are necessary for me. So we can, and so we can also get you, uh, so basically just to recap for everyone, uh -huh. I gave her a seven day sample yeah. and within those seven days, she basically told me that her pain mainly in her hands because her hands are, um, you were just telling us about the pain in your hands. The pain just subsided dramatically. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay. And then I remember you also telling me about your sleep, something about your oxygen tank and how you were able to sleep better. Yes. I, I have oxygen on at night and 
I didn't hear it. Usually I can hear it a little bit in the background, but I slept, best night slept, I've slept since is when I used the, the patches. It was fantastic, it really was. I, I love your story because, you know, I get a lot of people who tell me like, oh, how long does it take for it to, you know, show mm -hmm. the benefits? And I always tell them like, everyone goes through it in a different time frame. And with you, it's like, you, you're, you're dealing with so many things that it just worked right away. Oh, let it's, me tell you, some of the things that we've, we've had to go through has just been astronomical, really. Um, I get to the point where it, it hurts so bad, you just want to sit and cry. But, you know, what are you going to do? You have to go on. So that's what I've been doing. I'm now back up to my limit of the amount of pain meds that I can take per day. Uh, if I don't take it, it then puts me uh, irritable because of the constant pain in the hands. It's mainly my hands. I don't have a back problem except for where I have the surgery, but the hands are. Okay, yeah, perfect. I don't know if you can see them if I bring it up closer. Yeah. Yeah. 